Hey guys, what's up? It's a boy Jerry Dutch and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, I'll be taking you guys through how I created this image to look like this on my Instagram page. But well, this is the unedited version and this is what I edited after Photoshop. So I did a lot here. And I just have to tell you guys, I shot this under very harsh sunlight, somewhere around 12 o'clock. This was lying on the background, very hot. And the highlights was brought to you by some sheen I sprayed on the body. And the makeup was by a friend of mine, a very good makeup artist. I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to check it out. So I shot this at ISO 100, a shutter speed of 1 over 2500, an f-stop of 4, and with a lens 17 to 40, which I shot at 25mm. So let's just get right to the video. Why are you doing this tutorial video? First things first, I just create a new filled layer um, to show if a new layer is filled. Just hold M to show that everything is maxed. So whatever you do on this particular layer is affected in every part of the image. Right. Hold M to turn off the mask. And the second thing you do is just go to the color balance tab, which is this. If, if you can find your color balance tab in your capture one, all you need to do is go to window, create floating to, and uh, this is the color balance. You can choose to do whatever you have to do with the color balance. So I choose to work with my color balance this way. But this grading was put to me by a friend, Roman Blair. I was going to leave this link down below for you guys to check him out. So the first thing is I just brought down the methods. And this is a drastic change already. Right? Took the hue to somewhere around the oranges and brought up the saturation a little bit. Send the hue of the highlight to somewhere in the cyan brought up the saturation of it. I didn't touch the lightness of this, so it wouldn't affect the image. But if I did, this is what it would look like. This is actually cool, but you can choose to do whatever it is you have to do with it. So I keep it somewhere here and I change the hue of the shadow into the purplish area and increase the saturation. When you touch the lightness of the shadow, this is what you get. So to however you want the image to look like, all depends on you. So basically this is what I did on the image I posted on Instagram. So let's do a quick before and after. Everything has been done on the layer one here. So before and after, before and after. You can see that drastic shift, right? Yes. So this is all I did in Capture One to create this image. So you can go further more by creating new filled layers and doing more to it, however you see fit. So I can choose to push this to the greens. Push this to the purplish area for the middle or the highlights and stick to the oranges. So it depends on what you're looking for in the particular image. And you keep on creating the layers and keep on creating it. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just stick to this one layer to what I did on Pretty Little Little. So this is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification button if you also haven't. And tell a friend subscribe until the next video keep on watching and um, thanks for the subscription and enjoying this video